name is Nicola and I am a demi soloist at the Ballet Flanderin and a PTA Global Qualified Personal Trainer. And today I'm going to be taking you through a workout routine that I teach at the Sport Club Head Island in Antwerp called Balletics. So Balletics is a mashup between Pilates, yoga and ballet inspired aerobics and it works on core strength, stability and coordination. So all you need is a yoga mat and yourself and I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna start with a warm up. Starting at the top of your mat, feet parallel, hip width apart. We're going to roll down through the spine, one vertebrae at a time, holding down the bottom and then slowly rolling up. Breathing in and repeating. Rolling down slowly, engaging the abdominals and rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Breathing in and one last time, having a slight bending in the knees and rolling down. Just taking a second to relax here. Shake and nod the head and relax and walk forward into downward dog. Here we're going to be raising up on the legs and walking slowly through the demi point, warming up the ankles, and the toes, keeping the abdominals engaged and keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Relaxing down into downward dog, lifting up the leg and just rotating in a circle with the knee, creating nice big circles and freeing up the hip. Keep pushing out through the hands and don't sink into the shoulders. Extending the leg, where they're gonna bring the knee through, hovering just above the mat and we're gonna step through the hands. Coming up with the arms in fifth position, we're gonna bend the knee and straighten. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten, and again. And one last time, and we're coming back down to the mat. Coming out to plank, we're just gonna hold it here for a second. Engaging the stomach muscles, pushing out through the shoulders, one long straight line and coming slowly down to the mat, scooping out, stretching up the back, coming back down. Coming up and breathing in again, pushing up with the hands, rolling back down onto the knees, release the toes, and just sit here in child's pose for a second, relaxing into the hips. Coming up onto the hands and knees in a tabletop position, we're just gonna release the back, looking up at the ceiling and breathing out and curling like a cat. Breathing in, coming up, extending, breathing out and curling. Breathing in, looking up and forward, engaging the stomach muscles and curling up, creating nice, flexible spine and pushing out through the shoulders, yes. Now coming back up onto the toes and go back into downward dog. We're going to bicycle the feet once more. Just warming up the ankles again and the toes. Keeping the abdominals engaged. We're gonna lift up the opposite leg now and just do some circles with the knee. Releasing the hips, using the abdominals to do the circles with the knee as well. Keeping on pushing out through the hands and keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Extending the leg. We're bringing the knee close to the chest and we're going to step through the hands, releasing the knee and coming up to fifth position with the arms. We're going to bend and straighten the knee, warming up the knee joints, creating some flexibility in the hip flexors. Bending down, coming down to the floor and releasing the foot to plank. Holding the plank for a second, we're going to slowly release down to the floor, scooping forward with the body and releasing the chest up into an upward dog. Coming down onto the back of the heels and relaxing the back. Taking a second to just stretch out here. Coming up through the back and releasing to tabletop. We're now just gonna do some horse kicks as I like to call them. So, we're going to kick the leg back, engaging the glute muscle, 
with a pointed foot. And now we're gonna rotate, rotating the knee out without opening the hips up. So we wanna keep the hips on one straight line. And you guys wanna have a flat back, a little bit more flatter than what I'm doing right now. I'm not doing the best that I could be. And we're gonna swap sides. So kicking the foot back, engaging the glute muscle, trying to keep the hips on one level, pushing out through the shoulders so we're not sinking into the shoulders. We want a long line between the neck and the back and keep kicking the foot. And now we're gonna rotate. So keeping the hips in one long line, rotating the leg as much as you can, engaging that outer rotator muscle in the glutes. And coming down, just rotate one side out, stretching out the glutes and rotating to the other side. One last time, enjoy the stretch. And we've finished our warm up. Okay guys, we're here for the second part of the workout. And during this time, I wanna emphasize on optimal knee health, keeping the knees over the toes at all times. We're gonna start with some basic squats, feet hip width apart with our arms in first position. And we're just bending down. At this point, we're gonna feel like we're sitting down on a chair, trying to go as low as you can by keeping the knees over the toes and keeping the abdominals engaged and also the elbows wide. So we're engaging the arms as well. So we finish this, stepping out to the side in parallel, coming back to this original squat position, we're gonna rise. So stepping out to the other side and rise. And we, be, we repeat this, making sure that we're always engaging our abdominals, keeping the elbows wide. And when we rise up on the toes, we bring the pelvis slightly forward so that we're all in one line balanced. It's one whole body exercise. And don't forget to smile. Coming up on a balance, stepping out to the side, in and balance. I think we've got a couple more reps to go. One last set. You can do it. And we're finished. Shake out the legs. So now we're going to start in the first position in ballet. So we're gonna have a demi-plie with the arms and porta bra five times. So just bending down, making sure that we're not sticking out the bottom and we have the abs engaged and a nice straight back. Now we're going to rise. So coming around in a sweeping motion with the arms, we're rising up on the highest point of the toes that you can. And we're going to combine the two. So now we're going to bend and rise trying to keep the pelvis level, trying to keep the ankles strong, the inner thighs engaged as well as the quads, and try to feel the rotator muscles that we engaged on the, the floor of the mat in the warm up. So a couple more times, and we're going to hold the rise at the top. Test yourself if you wanna look up, and finish. Great, now we're going to repeat that in second position. So we're gonna bend, repeating the porta bra five times, still keeping the knees over the toes. So if this means you have to do this in parallel, if you have knee problems, then that's best for you, then I advise you to do that. We've moved on to our rises. So now pulling up from the inside thighs, rotating around the glutes, and we combine the two and a nice sweeping motion with the porta bra, keeping the knees over the toes and rising up on demi point, having a nice flat back and feeling a nice push from the floor as we go from plie to releve. And we're going to take a balance, holding it up the top and if you wanna feel that you need to test yourself, looking up and releasing, shake out the legs. Great, so we start in second position, arms at first, we're going to twist and touch the ground and then swap to the other side. So having a nice twist in the spine, making sure that we're engaging the abdominals to protect the muscles in the spine and continuing to keep the knees over the toes. Also, this exercise can as well be done in parallel position if you feel that that's better for your knee health. What we're concentrating on is creating mobility in the spine. So, twisting and coming up. 
And now we're gonna start after this with a double pulse. So double pulsing and coming up. And double pulsing and up. Double pulsing and up. Keeping a nice twist, making sure that we're squeezing in that squat position so we're not putting any pressure on the knees. Take a minute. Now we're gonna come down. We're gonna lift one foot, lift the other foot, do a double pulse squat, and then rise and come down. Repeating this, feeling like we're putting a nice demi point, keeping the elbows wide and a nice coordination with the arms after the double pulse. Circling them up and rising. This one's really heavy on the legs, but we don't do too many reps of it. So try and enjoy the burn while we can. So keeping the abs engaged and squeezing. This is a really good exercise also to prepare for jumping as it gets the knees lubricated and it mobilizes the hips and the ankles as well, preparing us to jump well. So I trust that you're feeling the burn right now. This is a hard one. Take a second to stretch. We're gonna grab our foot from behind and do a quad stretch. And then whenever you're ready, you can swap sides and stretch out the other quad. So enjoy the rest. We're then gonna go into first position and put our foot in coup de pied and raise it up into a retiré passe. Integrating the arm in the same coordination. We're just going to pick the foot up continuously in retiré as this is a nice preparation for pirouette exercises and retiré relevés. So keeping the foot pointed, keeping the back straight, finishing when you can. And we're gonna to go to the other side. Foot in coup de pied, lifting it up with the arm at the same time. Having a nice straight leg, supporting leg. This can also be done in parallel position if you feel like that is more comfortable for you. This is a really good exercise to engage your hamstrings, which is also good for your leg health. And we finish. Now, we're gonna combine this exercise with another one. We're gonna bring the foot up into retire, and we're going to place it down in front of us, and then to the side, and then to the back, and do a double pulse. And then we're going to bring it through to the front again. And we're going to repeat this. So, this can also be done in parallel position, and the leg at the back does not have to be so high, but if you wanna test yourself, feel free to do so. So we're going to continuously do this. This is a really good exercise for the abs as well because we really need the abdominals working properly to bring the knee up into retire. So, so we're now gonna put the foot at the back and we're gonna hold it. And then we're gonna pulse 10 times. Keeping the bottom leg bent slightly to support the stability and we finish. Ooh, it's tough on the hips. We're swapping over to the other side. So nice posture, arms wide. And we bring the leg up into retire and place front and side and then back and double pulse. And we repeat. So it's really good to keep the turnout and rotation. It's good to feel like you're rotating your leg inside your hip socket to create this nice turnout and long lines. So, keeping the abdominals engaged, coordinating the arm with the leg, and creating a long line with the feet as soon as we tondu out in any position. Gaining balance and we start our pulses at the back. It's really good for ankle stability. And we finish. Shake out the hips. So, we're going to start with the second to last exercise, facing the side with our hips in parallel position. We're going to bring the arm and leg together in a rotated retire, place it back and bring it back up and back to parallel. So this is a really good mobilization exercise, bringing it from parallel into a turned out position and keeping the knee in the front supporting leg over the toe, opening out the back leg in a rotated position. 
bringing the leg and the arm together at all times. So we have a nice sweeping movement with the arm, coordinated with the rotating movement with the leg in Retire. So you can do this as big as you like or as small as you like. It's just about creating space in the hips and creating stability in the supporting leg. So if you want to challenge yourself, you can also do a balance when you come up to Retire. So we've moved on to the other side. So we've moved on to the other side and you might find that on one side it's easier to open your hips than it is on the other side and that's okay and we're just creating a range of motion in this movement and there's no need for any self-judgment so keeping the abdominals nice and tight like always to bring the retire up and keeping the other arm out for support feel where your weight is shifting in your feet and whether you're stumbling or falling backwards, it might mean you need to shift your weight a little bit forward into the toes so that you can balance. Keeping the knees over the toes at all times. Okay, so I think we're moving on to our last exercise. Very exciting. We're shifting out to second, twisting in parallel, bringing the knee up in parallel, twisting open and extending, and then copying that to the other side. So twisting, opening, out, and back to second. So we do a nice twisting motion. This is a really good exercise for feeling where your balance is, for swapping from a parallel to turned out position, and keeping in mind where your knees are over the toes. So I think that the elbow should be really wide, maybe a little bit wider than what I have mine for optimal balance and keeping the pelvis pulled up with the abdominals. So enjoy the twist, open out the retire as much as you can. If it's too hard, we can stay in parallel. And don't forget to point those feet. If you wanna challenge yourself further, when you do the lunge, you can put the knee on the ground and bring it up into Passe Retire. Opening out. And we have our last one. And we're finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. We're just gonna do a tiny little stretch just to cool down, to stretch out the hip flexors, bending the knee and straightening, having a nice long flat back just mobilizing the hip flexor and twisting the arm open and circling it around all the way up, creating a big circle, stretching out the hip flexor and a nice twist in the spine. And if you want, you can grab the foot and ease into the stretch a little bit more. But if this is too much, you can also just leave the foot on the ground. So we're gonna repeat that to the other side. Last thing we do putting the knee down and bringing it back up and down and up and one last time twisting out with the arm creating a nice long circle reaching out and up and out and back and putting it up and grabbing the foot if you like otherwise you can just leave the foot on the ground and enjoy a nice easy stretch. And bring it back. And we're finished. Thank you for joining. Stay healthy and happy. Bye.